We are back with a new vlog. It feels a little weird to pick up the camera because I haven't vlogged in a while, but hello, we are back. I keep like seeing this and I sometimes forget that I have a tattoo and then I'm like, oh yeah, it's still there and I still love it. Um, so it's just funny to see it there sometimes. Anyway, welcome back to another vlog, you guys. It is Friday, so this is kind of going to be a little like weekend with us kind of vlog. I might show you my outfit quickly because I feel kind of cute. Can you see it if I put you there? So I've just got on this little tank top and then a tank top underneath and then these fun little pants. Woo! Anyway, I feel cute so I thought I would show you guys. This is just my lounge around the house outfit today. Not lounge but just like spend the day at home. I thought I would show you guys a couple of things that we did over like the last week um, around the house. Just some little things that I think have just added a bit to it. We finally hung up some pictures and we put this one there in the kitchen, which kind of helps fill this big blank wall right here. We put our clock up here and we actually put some batteries in it. We have had this thing for like two years and this is the first time we've put batteries in that. We added a few of these fake plants along the windowsill, which I think look really cute. We've also got this, which is a fold away um, drying rack. So you open this up and there's the rails for you to hang your clothes on. Hopefully we will get that hung up this weekend. I think we're gonna put it on this wall just behind me because the ones we have right now are the regular like these ones, which are great, but but I just feel like they take up a lot of room in the kitchen. So we're gonna give this a try and I'm really excited about it because it just, it feels nice to have something cool like that that just folds away and then pulls out when you need it to. The house is a bit crazy at the minute so I'm trying like not to show you guys all of the mess, but I do wanna show you my office. This is my office slash the guest room and as you can see, it does not look like an office whatsoever right now. I just need to like get this cleaned up, I think. We've just been really busy and I just feel like I've kind of let it go in here a little bit too much. So I'm gonna do some cleaning up, make it feel a little bit more office and a little bit better of a working environment, I wanna say. So let's get started on that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Move. <laughs> oh my God, you're stuck. Yeah. We are making a little bit of progress. I'm kind of just moving stuff around right now because there's some things where I like don't know where they should go. Like in this box, I'd love to finish unpacking it, but we've got two of these like globe lights in here and I don't know where I would put them if we did unpack it. Isn't that right? Yeah. <laughs> You're adorable. I'm going to call this done for now. It's nowhere near like actually done and how I want it, but it is an improvement on how it was before. So the floor is a lot less messy. It's nice that the bed is made. I cleaned up like all of this. I tidied all of this up. So it feels a little bit nicer in here. I wanted to put in some of the clips that we have from the last few months of working on the like backyard garden project. So I'm gonna put those in here and then I'll give you an update and show you what it looks like currently. Hi everyone, this is part two of our backyard project, our garden renovation. Yeah, so um, the plan for this one, what we're gonna do is dig this up a little bit and put some topsoil down, mm -hmm. which is over there, and then just put grass seed here instead of trying to transplant the grass like we did with this one, see how it works. It might be better, it might not. And then 
we're going to try and finish getting the rest of this grass up and the paver thingies put down. Very Good job. Soft, this. this stuff, yeah. I thought it'd be a bit muddy because we've been watering so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's another thing. We got some sprinklers. Mm -hmm. So we've been trying to keep this grass as watered as possible. So Thea's over here digging this stuff up and there's so many rocks and like rubble and stuff in here but he just what there's a brick down there there's a whole brick oh my god no wonder the grass doesn't grow right here there's big stuff this here dirt too. is awful they just leave so much crap behind when they're done building okay you work on getting those out he just found like this in there just a full-on like concrete block so yeah this is why we need to dig this stuff up it has been quite a few hours um i was having some trouble with the camera so i didn't get many clips from what we were doing earlier but i'm gonna just kind of show you guys where we stopped for today we kind of dug out most of the places where the dirt was like pretty bad and like rocky and rubbly filled that in with topsoil and we've grass seeded all of that all of that there down there so we just have to wait and see if this grass grows now. Hey guys, I thought it was time I probably showed you the next kind of like update for this video um, of where we're at with stuff. The last thing you saw was probably, it was over a month ago, so at least a month and a half ago, and probably more. Um, and what we've done since then is we put down a bunch of grass seed and like grass feed and all this to try and get our grass growing and get it looking nice and it's actually doing really really well so i just kind of wanted to show you this is all the new grass that we planted and we put all down the strip here where the wall used to be and then this is all the grass that we like transplanted and it's doing so well like it looks really good you can barely even see that there was a line right here i think we've done a really good job with growing the grass and stuff and making it look pretty nice. This area pretty much still looks the same, but that's like the next bigger part of this project, I think. We finally have an update to add to this video. We've gotten started again on doing some work out here. We are working on getting the rest of this grass up so that we can put down all of these and make our little Did you patio out? space back enough? here. When I counted these, and I also counted the first row of the patio over there, Yeah. To fill this whole space. Would we have enough or not? We would have enough if we if, you, if we rows. counted the first row of the patio over there. Okay. Um, so I think we're going to come up a little bit short of our line here, but we can always just put something there. So I think. Here's here's an idea. Yeah. At the very edge, instead of wrapping around these pillars, uh huh, stones. Yeah. And then also come up from this gate. Yeah. With these. Yeah. And leave a gap along here. Along here. Stones. Oh, yeah, I like that. Because that'll help with drainage mm -hmm. and we'll use less. I, I like that. I think that would probably be a good idea. And then we're not trying to have to like cut around exactly. those and stuff because that's so just I, be I a pain. I don't want to have to shape any. I just want to do square. Yeah, same. So. so we'll probably end up, we'll do that. Yep. And then I think we'll mostly have enough. Yeah, we should. We might just have to do a little row of like stones at the front there, because I counted those six so over there. It's not going to be all along there. Yeah. And all along here. Yeah. It saves us mm -hmm. effort of cutting. Yeah. And there's a bit of a slant there. I don't know if you accounted for that either. No, that... I didn't account for that. I counted up to the fence here. That's what we're this working is about, on. Like when we wanted to get this done anyway. That's true. <laughs> we just yeah. kind of got pressured into salesmen. Salesmen. Yeah, we ended up doing the fence a lot quicker than we had planned to do but it's so it, it's, it's okay. made life easier it's in terms of the driveway the parking yeah so now we're just getting this finished i want to get the slabs down i don't know if we'll get it all done today but it's coming up a lot easier than we thought it would and we're just kind of taking the first layer off and then gonna level it out and put the stones down and once again we are not professionals no we are very far from professionals so this the might not be not gonna be like over there no so we this might not be the right way to do this but we want to do it ourselves so it'll be okay and we've got a few little helpers outside with us so they're not helping very much though there's one no. over there 
there's one over there. I think the other one's inside. I thought I would come outside and kind of show you guys what the backyard slash garden looks like currently. Also, I hope it's not too windy out here and this clip does not get ruined and yeah, ignore my hair, but let me show you. This is the progress we've made on the patio area so far. Ignore the garbage, we're like not finished yet. Also, that is our new grill, um, which this is only on here temporarily. We have um, a cover, but the day after we got it, it was meant to rain and we didn't have the cover yet. And so right before this, the rain started to like pour down, I was out here scrambling to get this tarp on here and get it held down by rocks and stuff. So this is kind of ugly and it will not look like this once we put the actual grill cover on, but that is our grill under there. I think I mentioned earlier that we weren't gonna do like the stones and the sand underneath, but we did decide to go ahead and do that. And I think it was probably the right choice because this is a lot more level than it would have been without them. Once that area is finished, I think it's gonna look really nice. And then our table's gonna move over there. We still have the fencing that they took down from when the new wooden fence was put up. So we need to get rid of this and then we'll be able to cut this grass because this doesn't look great. But again, it's on the list. I think that is all the updates that I have for you guys about the backyard. You are now like caught up to speed. The only thing we'll be finishing hopefully soon is the patio and then there's some other stuff we want to get done out here but like i said that's still just like on the list but yeah there will be more to do with this project at some point in the future we're not sure when but we just want to get this part done and then we'll see where we take it after that but i just wanted to get this finished so you guys were like up to date on how this project has been going. Okay guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Let me know any of your thoughts down in the comments. I love to read the comments. It's kind of one of my favorite parts. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.